is going on guys, I'm Mixed Mohawk here and welcome back to Football Manager 2016 from Rax of Richard with our team Geisley AFC. Today we're going to play our first league match of the second season of this series. Um, last time, remember, we beat the regulation thing and today we're still back at it. We're back at the Bonorama League, we're about to start our first game of the season. And I, I'm, I feel very confident even though my budget over there says... No, my budget, my budget over here, over here says no, no, you can't do that. But right now, I'm not worried about the money. Let's worry about winning, and then we get money, and everything happens, and everything goes happy, happy, yay, yay, fun time. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of things I, I, we gotta, we gotta show right now. I did make some transfers, and I did make some free, um, free releases. So let's check that out right now. Let's check out the transfer, transfer history right now. Let's go with the out. I did sell every single player for free here. We we got rid of Luke Porritt right now. Uh, I'm, I just fell sad for him, but he, he won't reach his potential soon because I don't need him. I don't play a left mid, so I don't really need him. Jake Lawler also sent him as uh, as a free, of course. I did need him as well. He's already 25. Don't need him. Jordan Henry been he's been bothering me a lot about playing time, so I'm just. Literally, it just I, I released him. Let him be. Uh, Sack Thompson. This is one that I didn't want to get rid of, but he didn't. Not, he he refused a contract because I I was offering a contract for him, but he refused to get a contract. So I was just forced to release him. But no worries, and that, no worries. Nothing, nothing too bad about it. Nothing. I'm not that salty. A little bit. Danny Lowe. We also set him on a on a free. He has not got a club. I hope he gets one sooner or later. And we sold Stevan Drench, who, like, who, like, what's his name? Jordan Henry. He's been asking a lot of play time, so I just, I decided to sell him to Boston United, who, surprisingly, are in the Van Alarma League. They've been promoted, so he's, he's probably, I hope he gets some playing time for him. I, I wish him the best in there, and let's see how well he does. Uh, now, that was all the people that I sold. Let's talk about the people that I brought in. That's a lot. I did. I did spend some money to buy some of these players, but it's. It, I spent a total of eighty-seven k. But that's okay. That's not, that rhymed a little bit, kind of. We first we got Eogan, Eo Eogan Macal. I'm just gonna call him Macal. Uh, we bought him. We needed. We needed like a few midfielders because one, um, Zach Thompson was. Well, first of all, he left, of course. So we did need uh, another midfielder. And I did buy like five, four, I think four midfielders. And Iga and Iga and McCall was one of them. So I'll just see how well he does. He does have impressive stats anyways. Anyways, let's go with our next one, Callum Bennett. He used to play for us. I, I, I don't remember if I if I released him or something, but he, according to his career stats, he did just to play for us beginning of the season. And I sold him on a free. I don't remember. He I don't remember if he did or not. But I bought him back for I think a total yeah 25k from Alfreton, and I really did need another right back because um, Ryan Tolson is not really the best right back I have because I don't have any. But he's literally the best and he's only like two stars, two two stars. So it's not wasn't that it wasn't that impressive for him. So I needed I needed a new a new right back. I got four players from a tree fans tree tree free transfer. Uh, first off, is Jack Phillips, who has two stars, but he he has a good potential to play here. So I, I have him in a bench, or probably could play him a little bit more in the U21s. But you know, he's gonna be a, a future player for us. Uh, I just brought him because I was I, Isaac Buckley. I don't remember getting this man. He was with us last season, and he did play for Man City. Oh, I know. Okay, I did. I brought him in from Man City. I remember that. I brought Isaac Buckley from Man City. He has three stars. He's he's good for uh for a good striker right now. So it's he has a bunch of good physical, a lot of blue, which is uh, just a good uh, color, a lot of uh, physical. So he's pre pretty pretty brutal and uh, like up top, pretty f pretty f physical. I'll just need a little bit more finishing. I'm um, over here in the technical and mental stuff that could be trained, of course. Uh, who else? Charlie Albinson. I got him um and a free, of course. He's a goalkeeper. Because, like I said, Steven Trench left and Bailey Peacock Farrell also left, but he's in a free and I needed a goalkeeper. And Dan Atkinson could be a, uh, it could be a replacement, but I 
decided to put him in the U21 to get to more playing time because you know I got more goalkeepers to deal with. So I got him. I got him, of course. Pretty impressive stuff for goalkeeper. It's it's a bit a little bit on the edge, but it's okay. Okay for the event and armor league, so it's okay. Who else do I got? Uh, Patty McL uh, Mc McLaughlin. <laughs> I like his name, McLaughlin. Patty McLaughlin. Another center man that I needed. He was a ball winning midfielder, so he's gonna be like a big old starter because that's what I needed. Because Zach Thompson was a ball winning midfielder. So and, and since we lo we lost him, we got Mc McLaughlin, of course, to to fill in the spot and hope he could do as good as uh, Zach Thompson. And I think we have two more players that I haven't talked about yet. And there were two players that I got on loan. Andy Wa uh, Howarth, who was unhappy in the club, and I brought him on loan. He plays uh, wingers. He plays both wings, but he plays more to the right. That could replace Wayne Brooksby because Wayne Brooksby is a little bit, a little bit in the downside, but still. Andy Andy Wa Howarth is a pretty impressive player. And I played him like twice, I think. He got one assist, so I, I hope he does well in the in the league. Uh, last but not least, we did uh, get another goalkeeper who is in a lull, and his name is Shamal George. Also has impressive stats as a goalkeeper, and he, he's going to be well-rounded for our our squad. So that's that's all for the transfer that I did. Our money is pretty tight right now. We did we do have transfer budget and the payroll. They set the payroll to seven hundred, but I decided to give it to um, transfer budget to play some players, especially McLaughlin. No, who. Especially Egan McCall, and uh, I think someone else too. So yeah, uh, what else I have to do? Competition-wise, um, I don't know. Boston United got promoted. Brist Bristol Rovers got demoted, which is surprising. Uh, I think Bromley was with us as well. Margate came from. Uh, was promoted as well. York was um, demoted. From the Sky uh, Skybet League Two. Uh, who else been upgrade updated? Uh, FC United been um, he's climbing up the rank. They're climbing up the rank, so that's fantastic from them. FC United, <laughs> FC United of Manchester. Lol. Um, who else? I think that's it. There was only two that got demoted, and that was probably uh, that was Bristol and York. And the ones who got promoted, I can't. I think Clemsford was one of them as well. Yes, Clemsford City. So there's a new teams and then there's old teams. But we still have to be as confident as ever. This is a squad right here. They're all confident. They're ready. Some match fit. Injuries wise, Danny Hall is um, got injured for 10 to 12 months. He did, got damaged cruciate ligaments. He got the same thing that Carlos Salcedo got from my FIFA 16 Wild Heart Curry Modi. <laughs> Check that out later. Mm -hmm. Anyways. He's out for 10 to 12 months, which sucks. But it's pretty much, he's, uh, I want to say useless, but he's not, I don't really need him right now. I listed it for transfer, but no one wants him, so I'm just going to keep him there. But he's pretty much out for the rest of the season, even before even the season starts. So that's a, that's a sad thing to see, and he's, um, and may, may he rest in peace. He didn't die, but RIP. Anyways. Uh, we're gonna face Rex Sam today, according to uh, my um, squad. Uh, tough things, yeah. Rex Sam, who I think they finished, they finished fifth. They finished fifth in the in the in the league, and they last time I faced them, we tied one one. I remember that game. We need to win this one. I think my improved squad has been doing well, with uh, and and then more stars have been added to them. So I believe that my squad will do do will do well. That sounds weird. Will do well. I have I have two tactics in case. I got a four four two and a four three three in which I've been using for last season, and I believe that this one will be the formation. Will I will have to stick with it and it will be um, a good use. Uh, of course, let's just start with our goalkeeper right here, Albinson. Of course, Charlie Albinson will be our goal our starting goalkeeper. Bennett, Lockwood, Atkinson, and Parker as our, our back four. Uh, McLaughlin, Hat Hatfield, and McCall as our three center mids in controlling the midfield right there. Craddock and Hamworth as our wingers, and Wuton, who impressively, Wuton got one goal in competitive, but he, he's actually been doing well for me, so I'm going to put him up top. Who else was doing well? Isaac Buckley. Yeah, I think Isaac Buckley was doing well. I mean, yeah, he got four goals and three assists. I might, he might be a sub in. When, 
when we need him the most. So I believe in my squad we could do this. Let's continue into the match. Uh, I got nothing most to say. We know that they're lacking March or Max Fitness. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe that this team will get me a dub. Or at least a tie. We're most definitely a tie. And Rexham, they say Rexham is going to beat me. We got to show them they're wrong. They're playing a 4-4-2. I believe that these guys will do it. I, I just said that before. I do believe that they will do it. And let's see if they will. And let me just set this a little bit slower so they could be a little bit match. A little bit match. And then now we have started the match. We have we are possessing the ball more, which is which is it's only been a minute. It's okay. Four minutes in, we get a first one in. Wuton has put it into the back of the net for the first goal of the season. Already promising. Already promising. Our set pieces are working fantastic. Fantastically. What a ball, whoever sent that in. Number who is that? How worth sent a good ball. Wuton is out there to place it in. The goalkeeper's like, what? What happened? And now we're in front in the first five minutes of the game. Now we gotta control a little bit a little bit more. We get another key moment. We'll see who gets it. Riggs, okay, the Wexham is gonna get it. Uh they beat our defense. Libert takes a shot, hits the hits the woodwork and gets knocked out it. And they almost get another chance to score. They get another chance to score. So twenty seven minutes in, that's okay. We get another one and we get tackled. And I thought it was gonna be for us, but now that it's Rex and but Hatfield gets another one who what time takes a shot, but the goalkeeper saves it easily and now we get a corner. Howard is gonna send it in and send it sent it in, send it in. But it gets cleared out again. He tries to send it in again, it gets cleared out by the defender. And we're back into this this one right here. Now now they get another one. Sutherland is gonna give it up to Parker, Parker gives it to McCall, McCall gives it to Craig, Craig is all alone, gives it to Wuton, he puts it into the back of the net, he scores his second one of the season already. Oh my god, I'm so happy right now, this is going great for me. What a great for me, McCall gives it to Craig, Craig was a little bit on pressure, but he gives a good ball to Wuton, and I think he was, he looked like he was offside, but I'm not complaining, he scores it, he puts it into the back of the net, and we're up in the score again to all. So the first half, Hacking gets to get the ball, sends it up, up he gets intercepted by Banya, and that's offsides, and no ref. Okay, the ref just calls it not offsides, and they get a throw in me. They almost conceded there. Uh, overall, we're doing fantastic. I love it. I may need to sub out um, Patty McLaughlin for, I think, Ivan Rothrick, because I don't have another midfielder. I should have set up my, my, my subs. But I need, I need, I don't need anything. They're doing well. They're doing well. Let's start the second half. And then we're starting the second half, of course, when nothing going really happening for us. But it, they have taken more shots. They're getting into our goal, but we are putting them into the back of the net. They get a they get a key moment. Jennings gets tackled. McLaughlin gets the ball easily. Sends it. Um, Atkins sends it up, but gets intercepted. And now we're gonna have a counter. Evan takes a shot, but mm, and gets back of the net. It goes into the back of the net. That's not good. That's no bueno. Atkinson just uh, decided to give the ball away. Like, a, I'm gonna play a little bit defensive, just to be okay with him. Gavin Rothery, I'm gonna put him for my Claffin. Hope he, hope he does something there. He's not really good at that position, and yeah, I, and I think I just put it right there. Charlie Albinson is pretty nervous. I need to, to keep an eye on that. They do get we who gets it. We get the uh, we get the key moment. Uh, what then goes to the Howard? Howard is gonna try to beat the man, but couldn't. Bennett. Gets intercepted. Lockwood gets tackled. Lindbergh is all alone right now. It's not good. But he takes a shot and it goes out super wide. That was close. We're too playing super defensive just to because to play defensive. Uh, McC McCall is tired as well. I don't have stuff for him. Uh, Wu Time is doing great. I'm putting. I'm staying with it. I'm sticking with him. I got no other subs to do, so I'm just gonna con continue like that. And I may put Colson right now for Lockwood because our defenders are not doing well defending. Lol. But now I think that's they got a last minute corner, but we clear it out. Ref is gonna blow. We still clearing it out. We the ref has blown for full time and have a one two one against Rexham, who finished fifth and we finished twentieth. Now we're now we're on top, which is a fantastic result, a two one result. Patch analysis, leave match. Great, great overall. Overall match, I loved it. I love that match. We beat, we beat Rexham, who were we beat the odds and beat Rexham with two, two goals to Jimmy Wotan and 
uh, we just let a goal in. But that's okay, because still they get that fixed. McCall makes a debut. Craddock, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on fire. And we kick off, and we beat Wrexham 2-0. Uh, I have been talking about this uh, our preseason, but we did well in our preseason. So, yeah, I forgot to talk about that, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't talk about that. Anyways, uh, that was a good result in the table. We're in seventh, but it's okay. It's only the first um, league match, of course. And we're right now trying to avoid relegation, and we're doing well with that. But since it's the first game, nothing is written yet. We we could do we could do some great things in this season if we continue our form like this. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.